Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Intensive Math Class. Today we're going to be talking about how to convert percents to fractions and mixed numbers. Now, believe it or not, as much as this may uh, sound daunting or confusing, we've already talked about all of these skills. All right? I promise you. It's just a different way of looking at it. So let's check it out. When we're converting percents to fractions and mixed numbers, the first thing you want to do is convert the given percent into a decimal. And if you remember, we convert percents to decimals, how? By moving the decimal two places to the left. Okay, remember that we're going from percent to decimal left. So we move the decimal two places to the left. Then from there, we convert the decimal into a fraction. And how do we do that? We convert a decimal into a fraction by simply reading the decimal correctly using place value. Okay? So, for example, if you have, uh, I don't know, let's say point th 26, that's 26 hundredths. And then you reduce from there by dividing by 2 to both top and bottom, numerator and denominator, and your answer would be 13 fiftieths. So, again, like I said, my friends, I promise you, everything we're going to do today, we have already done before. All right? So, let's get to it. We have 85%. All right, step A. Turn that percent into a decimal. Well, I have 85. I'm going to go 1, 2 to the left, which equals 0 0.85. Second step, we read 0 0.85 correctly, which is 85 hundredths. And then what goes into 85 and 100? 5 goes into 85 and 100, so we divide 5 to both the numerator and denominator. And I'm going to be left with 17 over 20. And that's it. I'm done. I have converted a percent into a fraction. Number two, sometimes you will have fractions embedded within the percent. When it's a terminating decimal, okay, when the fraction becomes a terminating decimal, it's very simple. You just have 3 and 1 half, okay, this is, I'm sorry, 30 and 1 half. This is 30.5%. How did I get the 0.5? Well, remember that I can convert 1 half into a decimal by dividing 2 into 1.0. Bring up that decimal. 2 goes into 10 five times. And there you go, my brothers. 1 half became 0.5. Now, from here, I have 30.5%. I can move this decimal 1 2 to the left, which becomes 0 0.305. So that's my step A. I converted the percent into a decimal. Step B, second step, I'm going to read 0 0.305 correctly, which is 305 thousandths. I can divide 5 to both the numerator and the denominator, which gives me 61 two hundredths. And I am done, my friends. Done. Okay? Let's look at another one where you have a terminating decimal. 14 and 2 fifths percent becomes 14.4 percent. Why? Because 5 goes into 2.0 four times. 5 goes into 24 times. So I have 0.4. So 2 fifths became 0.4. So step 1, 14.4%. I move the decimal 1, 2 to the left, becomes 0 0.144. 0 0.144, read correctly with place value, is 144 thousandths. Okay? I'm going to divide 2 to both top and bottom here because 
2 goes into it. I could actually divide by 4 if I wanted to, but let's go step by step, just in case you can't see that 4 goes into both of those. 144 divided by 2 is 72 five hundredths. Again, I have two even numbers, so I can divide once again by 2, giving me 36 two fiftieths, which again, I have two even numbers, so I can divide once again by 2, giving me 18 120 fifths. And that's it. I'm done. Okay? Now, when it comes to terminating decimals, okay, I'm sorry, it's easy. Sorry about that. Terminating decimals like number three, it's easy. When it comes to repeating decimals, things could get a little trickier. Because remember that when I have a repeating decimal, for example, one-third here, one-third becomes 0.33 repeating. All right, or 0.3 with a repeating symbol. I don't know if you guys remember, but in order to convert that into a fraction, I read this decimal as if I did not have a repeating sign. So in other words, I would read it as 3 tenths. But since it's a repeating decimal, it never really ends. There's no finality to it. So I subtract 1 from the denominator, giving me 3 ninths, which equals 1 third. Well, when we have this kind of a repeating decimal as a fraction inside of a percent, things can get a little complicated. So, I'm going to show you another method, okay? You can use this whether it's a terminating decimal, which we already learned how to do it, but especially use this when there's a repeating decimal. If you guys remember, when we talked about the meaning of percent, we're talking about a certain value over 100. When I tell you 12%, that's 12 out of 100. So when I tell you 33 and one third percent, what I'm really telling you is this is 33 and one third out of 100. This is going to be a much easier way. And this could work whenever you have a fraction here. It does not have to be just when you have a repeating decimal. If you see a fraction, you can go ahead and write that whole percentage over 100. Let's go ahead and convert this top mixed number into an improper fraction. 3 times 33 is 99 plus 1. That is 100 over 3 divided by 100. Remember when we're dividing fractions? Stay, change, flip. Stay, change, flip. So stay change the multiplication, flip. Two ways you can do this. You can cross-reduce. 100 goes into 100 once. 100 goes into 100 once, and you're left with one-third. Or, if you don't see that, or you don't like that, or you know it's just too much for you, you can just multiply as normal. Numerator times numerator, 100 times 1 is 100. Denominator times denominator, 3 times 100 is 300. Divide both by 100, and my answer is 1 third. Okay? Let's do another one like that, just so you can see it could always work. That's a kind of pretty one. That's pretty easy. But what if I gave you 7 and 2 ninths? Okay? I know that 2 ninths is going to be a repeating decimal, but it does not matter. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a repeating decimal or a terminating decimal. Whenever you have, sorry, whenever you have a percentage that includes a mixed number, whenever you have a mixed number percentage, go ahead and do it just like we learned before. Just like an example four. This is seven and two ninths over one hundred. That's what this percentage really means. Convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 2, that's 65, over 9, over 100. Stay, change, flip. So stay, change, flip. Remember that this 100 has an invisible 1 underneath it. That's why I flip it. 
So, 65 times 1 is 65. 9 times 100 is 900. And now, I can simply just reduce. Okay? What goes into 65 and 900? Hopefully you realize it's 5. So I'm going to divide both the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator, by 5. 65 divided by 5 is 13. And 900 divided by 5 is 180. And guess what? I am done. And I can prove this to you. If you divide, you can check this on a calculator. If you divide 13 divided by 180, it gives you 0 0.072 repeating, which is exactly what this is right here. And I'll prove that. 2 ninths, if you divide it, is going to be 0 0.2 repeating because you're just going to repeat that 2 over and over again. So therefore, that means that 7 and 2 ninths percent is 7.2 repeating percent. If I turn that into a decimal, move the decimal two places to the left, I get 0 0.072 repeating, which is exactly what 13 over 180 equals. Okay? So last example like this, just to really make sure that this gets driven home and you understand it really, really well. Let's do 5 and, I don't know, let's say uh, of 3 fifths, okay, percent. Well, this becomes 5 and 3 fifths over 100, which equals 28 fifths over 100. And remember, 100 is being divided by 1. There's an invisible denominator. Stay, change, flip. So stay, change, flip. 28 times 1 is 28. 5 times 100 is 500. Both of these can be divided by 2, which will equal 14 2 fiftieths. They're still even numbers, so I can divide again by 2 which is 7 over 125, and that is my fraction, my friends. Okay? So I hope that makes a lot more sense to you. Now, how about converting fractions to mixed numbers? This one, in my opinion, is much easier. Number one, convert the fraction, into a mi fraction or mixed number into a decimal. How? Simply divide. Okay? Simply divide. Number two, convert the decimal into a percent. Remember, we're going from decimal to per er, er, r for right percent. So you convert a decimal to percent by moving the decimal two places to the right. Okay? And that's it. Done. We're golden. Okay? Convert each fraction here or mixed number into a percent. Hold on for one second, please. Alrighty, sorry about that. Alright, so for example two, convert each fraction or mixed number into a percent. All right, well, five-eighths. I hope that you remembered the fraction, skill, the fraction uh, conversions that I told you to memorize. Five-eighths equals 0.625. If you didn't memorize that, not a big deal. Divide. Eight goes into 5.0. Eight goes into 56 times, which is 48. Eight goes into 22 times, which is 16. Eight goes into 45 times. So 5 eighths becomes 0.625. Okay? 0.625.
And now from here, I want to convert this decimal into a percent. So I literally move the decimal one, two places to the right. So that is 62.5 percent. Seven ninths. Well, nine goes into seven. This is going to be a repeating decimal. This goes uh, seven times, which is 63. Another seven. That's uh, seven, 63. And we're just going to keep going here forever. So seven ninths becomes 0.7777, repeating forever. How do I turn this into a, a, a percent? I move the decimal one, two to the right. So this is 77.7 .7 repeating percent. However, a lot of times um, tests do not want this percentage written with a repeating decimal attached to it. So where did you get, what did you, where did you find that the 0.7 repeating came from? Isn't 7 ninths a repeating decimal of 0.7? So this will equal 77 and 7 ninths percent. If you forget that, please remember that you can read 0.7 repeating as 7 tenths, but you subtract one from the denominator, which becomes 7 ninths. So either way, you should be golden. Number three, five and three quarters. Five and three quarters becomes 5.75. Why? Because four into 3.0, bring up the decimal, four goes into 37 times, which is 28. And four goes into 25 times, so 5.75. I want to turn this decimal to percent. I go one, two to the right becoming 575%. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And last but not least, 2 and 7 elevenths. Okay. 11 into 7 decimal. Bring it up. 11 goes into 76 times, which is 66. That's 4. Bring down the 0. 11 goes into 43 times, 7, bring down the 0, 11 goes into 76 times, and as you can see, we're going to have a repeating decimal here of 0 0.636363 forever. So this becomes 2.6363, and it's repeating forever. So I want to turn this into a percent. So I'm going to move my decimal 1, 2 to the right, giving me 263.63 repeating. But we know that 7 elevenths equals 0.63 repeating, so this could be written as 263 and 7 elevenths percent. Okay? If you do not see that 0.63 is 7 elevenths, you could do it like this. Well, we know I have 263.63 repeating. Take this 0.63 repeating, which is 63 over 100 minus 1 in the denominator. That's 63 over 99. Divide both by 3. And guess what? Actually, divide both by 9. Let's go a little higher. And guess what? That gives you 7 elevenths, which still gives you... 263 and 7 elevenths percent. All right. Well, I hope that explained a lot. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.